Hi. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to teach the concept of estimating. When a child looks at a set of things, he should be able to estimate how many are there. And do you know, estimating anything is very difficult for dyscalculic child. So that's why you need to practice it very often. You give them a set of things like books or cards or anything and ask them how many are there. They just cannot guess. So that needs to be practiced. So for that, what do you need? So the items that you require is a bowl of 10 counters. We'll start with 10 counters. Okay, as I said, counters easily available in any stationery shop, which is used to play any board game. It can be of multiple colors or single color. So do not allow the child to count before the game starts. Keep it away. Just have it in a bowl. Then you also need a blank sheet of paper. Okay. So you have a bowl with counters, piece of paper. And this is how the counters look like. All right. So take at least five counters in a bowl and put them in a pile. Of course, not spread like this. Just pile it up. So the child cannot count. Do not allow the child to touch. Just show the counters to the child for a few seconds. Then ask and after that hide it with the paper and ask, okay, guess how many counters are there? So the child will look at it carefully, closed after that you close it with the paper and then the child will guess how many are there. Say so he says, whatever number he says to um, confirm that what he has said is right what you have to do is place the counter in a proper order so ask the child to check if we have whatever number he has said say suppose he said four so it will all right great don't say right or wrong just say fantastic so let's check how many are there so then you place them in a in a line ask the child to put it in a straight line touch each counter one two three four and count and then confirm what he has said is right or he has to practice it again. So as you had kept five and whatever he has said based on that, place it like this. And by keeping it accurately like this, the child will be able to count. So count it once, twice. So you get the practice of numbers here. You are touching and counting and you are able to also practice estimation. Isn't this very simple? If you don't want with counters, you can do it with cards. You can do it with even grains. You can do it with pulses. You can do it with anything that is small, chole, chana, whatever you want to try. You can try it with that and the child can count. Isn't this fun? Keep doing it with different numbers. Start with small number, single digit. Gradually go to double digit, three digit and keep growing. Keep practicing and you will find the child become very confident with estimation at least if the child is not exact they'll be close if the if the set of counters is 20 at least he will not say 50 or 70 he'll be very close to 23 24 whatever number right so practice it many many times till the child is absolutely clear with the concept and yes don't forget to put the comment below see you in the next video